Hi guys, I am just leaving Target, watching where I'm going. I had to run some errands for work on this side of town and I've been, I was over here anyway and I had two places I've been meaning to go while I was all the way on the other side of Wilmington and one of them was Target. So I'm finished until I get to the bank and it's, kind of, it's about a 20 minute drive. So uh, I decided to do a little car vlog. I can show you guys what I got. Um, just basically some tank tops and some stuff. Um, can't buy any shorts. I looked at some shorts, but I don't need any shorts. I'm good with shorts. Like, no more this season. But I love Target's tank tops. And I think, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I found my Target tank tops this season that I like the ribbed ones. And I did get one that's, one or two that's not ribbed, but I like the colors. And they were on sale for two, two for ten. So I'll show you guys those. Uh, Jody had mentioned to me, oh, let me turn this air up. Where is that? It's just so hot out. I guess the sun is just, hmm. Anyway, Jody sent me a message and asked if I took my last video about the scents from the eBayer where I bought the New Harlem, Sahara Noir, uh, the American cream was not as good, just so you know. I'm not saying that because of what's going on, but just so you know, the the American cream, the lush American cream dupe in my video about a couple videos back where I linked the very first eBayer, I have reordered from her. The one, the scents that I took down, her American cream wasn't as good. It didn't even last that long. The very first one, you can smell that one lightly all day long. So, but what happened, you guys know the video was not that bad. I mean, it wasn't really so, it was just honest. I'm always honest about stuff. Um, but I did send her a message. I gave her uh, good feedback or whatever because she was an eBay seller. And <laughs> I sent her a message, not a complaint, and told her that, which it was true, as I wore the Sahara Noir, you couldn't, you couldn't, not only did it not last, it really didn't smell. Like, that would have, that would have been something you, you could legit spray your sheets, pillows and sheets with and go to bed. Because you really just couldn't smell it. Um, I picked up where it was, it, it had the notes. It, it was supposed to smell like Tom Ford, Sahara no more. But it was so light, it was like scented water. And she was calling these EDPs. And that little half ounce was six dollars. Um, which I know compared to Tom Ford's, that's not, but she's also not Tom Ford. So anyway, I just sent her like a friendly message and I said, you know, the American cream was, you know, pretty good. The, uh, Rockstar was good, but that's the only time I've ever smelled a dupe of the Rockstar soap is all I've ever smelled from Lush. I said it was spot on and it was. It just didn't last very long. I, didn't, I don't know if I told her that or not. I didn't send her anything complaining. I just offered her some friendly advice. I said, you're Sahara Noir. I said, I can tell where I think you have got the fragrance spot on. I said, but you just, it's too weak. You can't smell it. It's like scented water. I mean, it was like a hundredth time weaker than a Bath and Body Works body spray. I said, I would, just a, you know, friendly suggestion, I would make it stronger so that you can actually smell it. I said, she sent me, an, first she sent me an email back and she said, well, uh, it is kind of weak in that type of uh, whatever, mist, body mist or whatever. She said, I would suggest if you want it stronger to order the EDP. Well, I was like, I had a Twilight Zone moment. I was like, I did order the EDP. So I went back to my eBay account and I looked to make sure I ordered the EDPs and, and I did. They were all supposed to be EDPs and I sent her a message back and I said, I did order the EDPs and then she was like, oh, 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 you know, da, da. I said, well, I'm just saying, especially for, especially, you know, now that she said that because it, there's no way it could have been any lighter. There's no way because it legit smelled like water with almost a scent there that smelled like Sahara Noir. And I sent her a message back. I said, I did order the ADPs. You know. And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, that's not, that's not an excuse. So now I'm wondering if I even got ADPs in anything. And that's 
what I paid for it, whatever. Uh, I don't know. But she sent me a message back. I didn't send her anything mean. She sent me a message back and she said, how dare you say something about a family ran business, blah, blah, blah. You guys saw the freaking video. I don't know what she's talking about because my emails weren't mean. It was a friendly suggestion. If you want people to rebuy a fragrance, they need to be able to smell it. And my video wasn't bad. So I sent her a message. I took the video down. Because I thought the video was pretty good. It was an honest video. And, like, she was mad. She wrote me a whole paragraph. And I sent her a message back. I said, well, you know what? I said, I actually did. Because I had not mentioned the video. I said, I actually did a decent video unboxing or unpackaging or whatever your scent. I said, but I just took it down. And I haven't heard from her since. But, so anybody that saw that, I'm not going to mention the name or whatever, but anybody that saw that video that is looking or thinking, just don't. The rock star is on point, but it doesn't last long. The American cream is okay. It's not as good as the other ladies. I'm just being honest, and it didn't last long. The other ladies last a long time and it's not a strong fragrance it's supposed to be like a strawberry cream fragrance but if you look it up um some people pick up the strawberry some people don't it's not a strawberry fragrance so i don't really pick up strawberry i pick up like a just a good cream fragrance and i don't even know like i like fresh cream from Philo philosophy but it's not that either it's a little bit different so i guess it is the strawberry but it's not like ordering like for example, Barbara, uh, her strawberries and cream. That's strawberry. I like that one. Um, Earth and Treasures. Dot biz. I'm pretty sure. Uh, anyway, so I thought, you know, well, when Jody brought that up, I thought, well, maybe I should mention it. That's why I took the video down. And if anybody did see it, did see the eBayer, I would not. I, I just wouldn't. Just don't. It's a, it's a little bitty, whatever a half an ounce is, for $6. And, you know, what was the other ones? Oh, uh, no, that New Harlem. I don't know what New Harlem smells like. I've never smelled that I know of. And if I have, it's been a long time. The original uh, New Harlem from Bon 9. But I can tell you what it smells like. I don't even know if I finished filling the video in. I think I did a review of three of them that I had worn. New Harlem. It smells pretty good. But I'm going to tell you what it smelled like. And it was strong. And it did last. You could smell that maple syrup pancake smell all day long. The night I sniffed it on camera. And didn't even spray it. But when I did spray it, what it smells like is you initially get the pancake syrup scent which is fine some of you may hate that with a man's cologne that's what it smelled like I didn't know that which a lot of bond nine and Creed are masculine because they're most of them are unisex so you so when they do that they for the most part they don't go too feminine feminine and floral they'll tend to do more masculine and throw a sweet scent in there just like they've done New Harlem but well what I imagine New Harlem smells like but I will tell you, that one was strong. But that was the only one of those six. So if she did that one that strong, I mean, you're mixing an oil and you're mixing a base, which is usually, you know, some percentage of alcohol. She can, there's no reason that she can't do Sahara Noir. More fragranced. So I have since gone to another company and I forgot to even look up Sahara Noir. But it's a scent, like where you buy scented oils to make, you know, soap and oils that are safe for your body and I ordered a Amer lush American cream and lush rockstar had I thought about it I would have seen if and I may go back and look now um, if I can remember I would have seen if they had Sahara Noir because those are cheap like an eight ounce bottle of the straight oil is $12.99 I mean you're gonna pay shipping on that too but that they're mixed that, that's what they're doing but they're mixing it with alcohol so they're selling it I, I mean basically she's making a killing but I'm going to see if somebody has the straight Sahara Noir oil that has good reviews. It's like, you know, like a soap making company because that's where you're going to get the best ones. When I get those two oils, I'll let you know. 
but more than likely because it was the first one that popped up when I googled it more than likely this is the supplier that they're ordering from but the woman that I took her video down is just not doing them strong enough for them to last so just want to let you know that I'm trying to think if I ordered anything else I can't remember I'm just gonna show you really quick this is not a ribbed tank top this is a Marona tank top I got medium in this one because they didn't have a small that's okay sometimes you want a tank top that's a little longer or a little bigger it's just a color this this a color <laughs> and I've been looking for this or brighter all summer because I have you know like army